Hello comic fans, here's Earl Grey. Oh, what a dirty teacup that is. Anyhow, this is one of these uh, out of the box here, over there, under the camera kind of videos. I just couldn't wait to share the delight that is slain uh, the box set uh, that you can see here over uh, on my table. It's all shimmery and shiny, as you can see here. Uh, three books, um, book one, two, three. Um, I will go in some details and uh, about my history with Slain before, um, and that's, for the most part, this book here. Um, the Haunt God, Der Gehörnte Gott in German, and all three stories uh, rolled into one uh, of these books. It's by far not the first uh, Slain story, as you know. Um, there have been five books before, but the whole prehistory um, will be told uh, through the eyes or the words of Uko, the dwarf of Slain, the main character. As you uh, can already see, the German edition has really its benefits. Um, good reproduction and uh, a lot of these annotations, uh, which is a good thing because uh, Pat Mills, the writer, uh, did a lot of crazy things with Celt history and melding different kinds of stories, uh, fairy tales, uh, sagas, stuff from way back later, I mean 19th century or 18th century, to tell these ancient myths <laughs> that never have been imagined before, so colorful and so bold. As in the pictures of Simon Bisley, uh, who is really the selling point uh, for the story here, Slain was one of these amazing comics that were first published in 2000 AD. I mean, that's an understatement. It was the most uh, successful, if not even really the best comic ever put out by 2000 AD uh, in magazine sized format to get the format questions right all of the way out of the way here. Uh, well, that was the original magazine sized format and the now, now this deluxe uh, set format here is even a lot bigger. Um, and it was huge success despite of being not really a comic that was yeah, made to be printed on cheapish newsprint-like paper uh, in 2018. I mean, the black and white art um, reproduced well as always, but Slain is, for the most part, a colored comic. But all the readers uh, obviously understood, nevertheless, this is a great comic, even if they couldn't make out uh, every detail in the dark reproduction. So that's enough of the introduction blabber, I think. Now to the real deal. I mean, um, my jaw kicked to the ground when I opened this box here and uh, saw this beautiful slipcase here. Um, it's numbered. So, um, yeah, it, there are 1,000 copies of this box set here. Mine is number 539. So I think you should be quick to get the last remaining ones because really, as I said it, this is one of the most successful comics ever from Europe and uh, the most successful from uh, 2000 AD. So I think there will be a lot of people who want that stuff here and why not? Um, and even if you haven't read anything about Slain before, you will get a good summary about all the stuff that happened before um, in this Slain saga. Oh, look at the, this page here. It's, it's really 
that good, that book. And uh, I've never saw uh, this map here. It is not reproduced, at least in my German um, uh, edition of Slain. And this is really helpful. And uh, yeah, you see that uh, the Césaire are there. Uh, it, it, this makes a whole lot of sense when you read uh, the, the story. And here's the design uh, Simon Bisley came up with uh, to do his version of Slain. He looks a lot different than before, especially here this um, scatter, this belt with uh, this pig's head. What's the name for male pig in English? Um, however, crazy art. And you see, I don't have to put the 2000 AD magazine as a um, comparison aside, you see that this color really pops and looks like uh, like from the drawing table or the coloring table. Um, what Simon Bisley did here just exceeds what you're used about uh, or fantasy art or whatever. And he, he puts it all in into the to, to use uh, for the storytelling. This is not just poster art for the sake of being poster art, but um, to tell this uh, wonderful, intricate story of Pat Mills. And after you're through the summary, which is very uh, well made, I feel, um, the, the task was to, to get through five times of the content of these three books. That's all the stuff that happened before. And it's been told here uh, through uh, yeah, a couple of pages. And it's very entertaining and you're in the know. You, you know everything that came before. Um, I still would recommend to pick up uh, earlier slain uh, stories in one volume or another. But uh, you can really start with this one here and <laughs> it's glorious, it's fantastic, it's great. Um, but I will keep my German edition for sure because uh, there, there, is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of annotations who help you around uh, in this mythic and Celt world and I mean, it's very interesting how uh, Pat Mills kept from different sources to to infuse his um, slain with some historic, um, yeah, truth. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, to make it more than just his own imagination, but uh, to include of some of the of the lore that came before about the Celts and there are, the, there are lots of yeah, uh, stories, uh, lots of contradictions of course and very dark uh, stuff here. Oh, that's, that's just great. Let's do some comparison nevertheless of these a few pages here, which have been reprinted uh, pretty well, uh, actually, in the original magazine, because the light blue uh, turned up pretty fine on that paper. But even if you compare this stuff to the new edition, you see, I mean, this is light years apart um, in terms of brightness, intensity, and, and color. And yeah, and if we change through the next page, you see how it, the difference for the most part looks. I mean, this could, could have been darkened uh, all through the years. It's 35 years uh, somehow um, since this stuff here was printed. But yeah, that's... A lot of difference, I think, and um, I mean, come on. Uh, when I first saw this um, popping up in the um, pre-ordering um, section uh, of Walt's comic shop, 
I just knew that I had to order it and I was glad enough to get the whole stuff here for uh, un uh, 100 uh, euros. So um, I guess it's now uh, sold out over there uh, at Waltz, but maybe you can get this still uh, somewhere else, I'm pretty sure. Um, but not for long. Um, that's quite sure as well. That about this, I'm pretty sure as well. So no need to do markers anywhere. Uh, it's it's just wonderful stuff if you're somehow into fantasy, if you like crazy stuff, if you like Richard Corbin or Sam Keith, uh, two artists who came somehow into my mind when I tried to describe uh, Simon Bisley's um, idiosyncratic, uh, in the end, uh, art. Maybe you can think of Frank Frazetta as well. So, this is an amazing book and what, what a month this has been with uh, Batman Year One and all, and, uh, and Richard Corbin then too. Uh, pre-orders that came into my house uh, these um, last couple of days actually. So thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.